lost, mate. Yeah, yeah, he said no. Gonna wind uh, Martin up now and tell him he's got to take it. Hello, Hello you all right? Yeah. They want you to take a load of waste back. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Luke, thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day so far. We are in Quicklade, we're in the yard, waiting to be loaded. Uh, the time is nearly nine o'clock. We've already done one load today. Oh, I've just been sat here now waiting. Done one trip just to Sirencester, just down the road. Love Lane, into what we call a hot box. It's a council depot. Uh, and they have these things called hot boxes, which is like this green metal box. And it's essentially, we, we deliver the tarmac to them. And they keep it in that box for a few days and that's what they go out on their little vans and fill in all the potholes and things like that. So, um, yeah, I've done that run this morning. Come back here. I've just been sat, I've sat waiting though. Ugh. I've been here a good hour. I've had a 15 minute break. So at least that's done. And um, it was supposed to be loaded at quarter to nine to go to somewhere called Andover. But um, like I said, it's nine o'clock now, so we're 15 minutes late. Matey boy's just getting loaded now over there. And I know that he's going to Andover, I'm going to Andover, and the bloke over there is going to Andover as well. So we're all going to Andover, it's just I don't know which, I, which sort of line i can't even think of the word now which load i'm going to be taking which load number that's the one i don't know how much is going down there and i don't know whether i'm going to be loaded last or second or third or first i don't know no idea all i know is once i've uh, done that road at andover i've got to go to uh, <laughs> yeah. once i know that i've got to go south marston oh my god Yeah, matey boy's telling me that he wants to get a sample out of me. Does that mean I'm going in next? The one thing I don't like about being a lorry driver is not driving. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I chose this career because I want I like to drive. And I've been sat here for an hour now and I mean to begin with it's alright, you know, you can get your phone out, watch some videos. But after a while, it just gets boring. And you start yawning. Ugh. Right, so, according to this, I'm actually the first one to go down there. So, I don't know where the other driver went. I was aware, as far as I was aware, he was going there as well. Uh, there is a chance that he has gone there, just with different material. Because it's all on different job numbers. We've got to go to Riverway. I'm given a map as well. Just make sure it's taking me to the right place. So there's the roundabout. Now it looks like it's telling me to go in that way. But I don't like the look of going in that way, so I'm not gonna bother. There's Carl. Right, so we're gonna go there, Riverway. We're going to the right place by the looks of it. I just the map I've been given is that, and it they're sort of like it gives you a route, but I don't know whether that is the route they want you to take, or just the route that. Well, I don't know whether that's the route they want me to take, or or that's where they were when they fucking went on Google Maps. You know what I mean, either way, we'll get there eventually. I think we're going to go go to Newbury and come down. At your destination at 10.44. 10.44? Yeah, I think we're going to go that way. Come to that roundabout. And then go on the A3, A3. Possibly go past Stonehenge. Can't remember where Stonehenge is. I know it's on the A3, A3 somewhere. 
I don't know whether we'll see it on this journey or not. And then come in that way. Oh, yeah, it's taking me in that way. That's fine, that's the way I'm going to go in. It doesn't actually tell me to go in a certain way. Or I could just go straight down, turn around at the roundabout and go in that way. Yeah, that's what I do. Just talking to myself here, don't mind me. Right, so, um, let's get cracker fucking lacking. Let's get cracker lacking. Let's get out of here. What are you doing? You're reversing it in, all right, no worries. I'd like to know what he was doing. Is he trying to get out? Is he going back in? Looks like it. It is quite a sharp bend. Most trucks turn left, not right, out of here. It's not the nicest of, uh, of exits that turn in. Right, let's go. Pedal to the metal. We've got an hour and 20 minute drive. It is 62 miles away. And I've got to come back and do another run yet as well, so. Got to get cracking. Apologies for not uploading the video recently. The last proper vlog I did was about three weeks ago. Um, I didn't didn't really want to talk about it too much, but um, the I've explained before that I work for a company and the company I work for own this truck and pay my wage, obviously, but I work for another company who are subcontracted to, and that company who dish, is the person or, or people who dish out all the work where I'm going now. It's, it's on this second company. But on the 30th of June, the company I actually work for and get paid by um, we'll no longer have the contract with this second company, meaning the 30th of June is effectively my last day working at this company, I believe. I don't, I don't really know because I haven't actually been told in, in certain words that I have not got a job at the, at the end of June. I've just been told that the contract with this second company uh, will no longer be there. It's the way that it's been put that makes me wonder whether or not I've got a job at the end of June. So I didn't really want to talk about it but I wanted to get out there I think just yeah end of June I might not have a job <laughs> so I've got to find somewhere I think or um, do something else. So I'm not I'm not sure what it is I'm going to be doing yet. Um, at the time of making this video, it's the uh, 24th, 25th of April. So I've got just over two months still to sort something out. So I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not like I haven't got any notice. And I'm not going to lie, I've got a few things lined up. Uh, I've, had, I've had people who own other businesses inquire about me. Um, and my name's been mentioned in like by other people, so nothing's nothing's uh, written down, nothing's final, nothing's really been said in terms of offering me a job elsewhere. It's just uh, my name is definitely being mentioned, which is a good thing. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to see what happens. I don't I don't know what's happening. I really don't. My employer, my current employer, who I work for and pays my wages. When I first spoke to him, he said, and I quote, we'd like to offer you alternative employment on the Arctic. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. I'll do that. So, you know, that's what I was looking forward to. The second time I spoke to him, 
he said, uh, oh, I don't know, I don't know, let me have a think about it. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. And he, uh, he did also say, has anyone over the road mentioned anything about any jobs going? So, I mean, things like that make me think, at the end of June, I will not have a job with this current employer. But um, we will have to see. We don't know what's happening. Class 1 is an option. I haven't got a Class 1 licence yet, but maybe I can do my Class 1 test before the end of June. And see if I can stay on with my current employer doing Class 1 work. Or maybe I can get a job with another employer doing the same stuff, the same work I'm doing now, just with another employer. So yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons why in the last few weeks I haven't really done much vlogging. It's, it's just because I've had a lot on my mind, really, and I just I didn't want to vlog. But we're vlogging today. We're up and we're, we're live, well, sort of live. We're vlogging. And it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day today. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It's my last day this week because I'm off. I am off, and so I'm off Thursday and Friday. Obviously, I'm off Saturday and Sunday as well, and I'm off Monday because it's a bank holiday. So I got a nice long weekend, five days off. So looking forward to that, definitely. Right, so enough of this jibber jabber. Let's uh, get our way over to Andover, and um, let's tip in tip it there and then make my way back see you in a bit all right hello guys we um we went a slightly different way in the end hang on what exit do i need to take here third exit yeah we didn't go on the m4 in the end because a i'm bored <laughs> i don't want to drive on the motorway b because it added an extra 30 fucking miles onto the journey he just went all around me on the outside uh, and see, it was a little, it took a little bit longer to, to do to go that way. So um, I'll come down all the A roads instead, straight direct path. So it's, it's more entertaining, you know. You get to drive around, turn your wheel, concentrate. So it's all good. Come a different way. Sun's decided to make an appearance as well, so we've got the specs on, and we're just a mile away or so now, two miles, no, mile and a half. From, uh, from where we need to be. So, not only have I come down a different way, I'm actually gonna go in the way the map told me to as well. So on here, there's a blue line saying, well, I'm assuming it's saying how to go in. So that's the way I'm going to attempt to go in. The only problem is, the road on the sat-nav looks very small. So I don't know what to expect when we get there. Pardon me. Right, second exit. Let's go around this roundabout. Bloody massive roundabout for not many junctions. Next roundabout, we need to take the first exit by the looks of it. And then, uh, I think we want to draw a carriageway, then we need to make a left hand turn. So we are near. Company we are using is Southwest, Southwest Servicing, um, who normally use white vehicles with blue writing. So we're just round the corner now from where we need to be. Hopefully we can find it nice and easy and hopefully we get in the right way. 
hopefully. Come on. <sighs> Can I start the audit? I do apologise. Oh, by the way, if you're new to this channel uh, as a new subscriber, thank you ever so much. Honestly, like, in the last week, I've gained something silly like bloody 1,600 subscribers. 1,600 subscribers, new subscribers, in just one week. That's absolutely fucking mad. <laughs> I, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had like 7,000 subscribers, and now I've got 9,000. Jesus, that's a bit tight. Let's get out of this roundabout, it's a bit busy. After the yellow car, we shall go. Yeah, so I've uh, gained quite a lot of subscribers in just one week, so thank you very much to everybody who's subscribed. I really do appreciate it. One more roundabout. Fucking roundabouts, man. One more. A load of road work signs out, so I've got to make sure I get the right one. any of these guys could really be for me. They've got wheelbarrows, so it looks like they're tarmacking. Or they're taking up some tarmac. Yeah, they're taking up tarmac there, so they it will need tarmacking. Three lanes roundabout, and they got just one lane open. We need to go over there somewhere. So I'm going to say middle lane. Middle lane should get me there. Yeah, what a guess, man. First two lanes go to the left low, which we don't want to do. That was a combination of luck and just a bit of experience. Guess what lane I needed to be in. Oh, I used to work for them, Curious PC World. Sun's gone. Right, so apparently, according to me old sat nav boy here, we need to take a left turn here. That car definitely went on that red light, didn't it? I keep getting asked what that beeping is, it's because I'm indicating left. On the outside, it will say, caution, truck turning left. And on the inside, it lets me know there's something on, on the left-hand side in my way. Which, in this case, is a fucking bush. Right, so I think that's why it looks quite tight on the old sat-nav. In fact, I think I might have got taken the wrong turn. So I'm just going to park up here a sec. Have I taken the wrong turn or not? No, it is saying this way. This does take me to where I need to go, this road. Will you fucking shut up? Beeping. Looks like we're in a car park. You will arrive at your destination at 10.45. So we're going to exit this car park. Out here. This is the way the map said to go in. So this is the way I've gone. But it looks like it didn't matter which way you went in. I'm going to turn right here. Nothing on the left. Nothing on the right.
We should hopefully see road close signs somewhere up here. So this is where we need to be. Afternoon. You didn't want to say hello, that's fine. So, I think I'm just gonna pretty much wait here until I'm told otherwise, because if I go down there, I'll be in the way of the sprayer. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully we find out what we're doing and then um, we can uh, continue. See you in a bit. Yeah, of course can. There you go. Right, how do I get out of here then? So we're going to be going this way, down to Piggins Way, and then we want to turn right, then right, then right. Yeah, right, right, right. Onto Churchill Way, and hopefully it'll pick me back up where I then need to take the second exit, Northern Avenue. Just talking to myself there. <laughs> you seem a bit low, are you okay there? Can we make it higher up? There you go. Right, so we are on site. We've had one tip. Um, so hopefully we've only got three more that, left that needs to be done. And then we need to head straight back. Yeah, got enough time to head straight back. I'm on two hours, eight minutes of driving. It's about an hour and 20 minute drive back, so three and a half. Yeah, so head straight back um, to the yard where hopefully I can get half an hour break in. If not, I'll get loaded for my next one in South Marston and then just drive straight to South Marston. I'll have an hour's drive left, give or take. So I should... So I should have enough time to get to South Marston and then uh, tip there and then have a break. So that's the plan. These birds proper fighting. Yeah, so um, I was mentioning earlier, so I, I, uh, tomorrow's my last day this week. I've got Thursday, Friday off. Taking the girlfriend to London. If you have uh, if you're, if you like my Facebook page, I've already mentioned it on there. Going to get up early, drop the kids off Wednesday night around my mum's house, mum and dad's house, so they'll be staying with their grandparents. And then early Thursday morning, say five in the morning, we're probably going to get up, head towards London. We're staying in a hotel near Tower Bridge. Um, which is right next to the Tower of London as well. So um, it's going to be cool. Might be able to see it from our window, not sure yet. Depends on how high up we are in the hotel, otherwise it's just going to be fucking street level or in line with a train track. But hopefully we're on the top floor. But you can hope. Yeah, then we're going to go sightseeing, see all the attractions in London and stuff. And then um, we're only staying Thursday. Friday we're coming back. But on the way back, we're popping into Harry Potter world. Because she's quite a fan of Harry Potter. And uh, yeah, we're going to spend the day there as well. And then plan on going to the cinema. Because she wants to watch Guardians of the Galaxy. She found the first one fucking hilarious. We'll get on eventually. Right. Up we go. How much have we got on? Got 12 and a half tonne, so we took quite a decent chunk off the first time. It means I've uh, got this chip and one more, or this chip, one more, and then a fucking tiny little one. Up, 
Da -da. Yeah, so we had about 12 turn on on that tip. Now we've got about six turn on. So like I thought, next tip could be the last one or I'll be left with a tiny and little bit on it. So which means I'll have to do a fourth tip with like nothing on. We'll see. Ah, this is now telling me to go down Pilgrims. So turn right there and then left and then... We're in like a little house in the States. It's not like the best for a truck. Um, I don't know why it's telling me. Oh, yeah, I understand now. Oh, I understand. Why do I need to go down there, though? Nah, I'm going through Andover, aren't I? Bloody sat now, so yeah, I'm going to go down to Northern Avenue. Bloody sat now, because I, I altered the route, so I went out of the way I want to go, but now because I've moved and it's effectively changed direction, it's um, completely changed the way I want to go. Never mind. Sun's come back out. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Thursday and Friday. Spend the day with a girlfriend. No kids. See some attractions in London. Happy days, happy days. The only thing I'm worried about, like I mentioned earlier, is my job security, a couple of months time. Don't know what's happening. Don't know whether I'll be working for the same company doing the same thing, or same company doing a different thing, or different company, same thing, if that makes sense. There's a few options. Just have to wait. This is really annoying. I like to know what's happening, but I don't. I do not know what's happening at all. Oh, we're going back on. Please be last tip. Please be the last tip. Please be the last tip. Six point four ton. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a tiny little bit on then one more tip. About like half a ton or something. Yep, one more tip. One more after this. I ain't got a lot of room to tidy it up. Looks like he's coming all the way fucking round. I do apologise if you find this a bit boring, but this is what happens, this is what I do. This is, um, this is what it's like, do you know what I mean? spend a lot of time just looking out a window into a mirror waiting for them to put their arm up and telling you to come on drive When I do uh, finish tipping, I actually need to get in the back and scrape a bit of tarmac out anyway. I had a bit of hard tarmac stuck at the front. Hopefully this hot tarmac is warmed up a little bit that I can shovel it out. That's the plan. And looks like any second now I'll be going back for my last tip. Bloody wasps.
Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, matey boy. Okay, drive off. One more tip, I would have got in front of him and then he would have been in the right place, but never mind. Here we go. He's coming to me. Thanks for letting me know though. I'm gonna feel a push in a sec. There we go. That's him pushing onto me. Three point one ton less, so it should all come out. All the way up. And then down and forward. Just gonna bring over my ticket now. Come on. Gotta sign that before you fucking before I tip. Cheers, mate. Cheers, bud. You got yours to copy, yeah? Yeah. yeah no, Cheers, mate. Right. So now I just need to go down here and clean up. Toy. <laughs> See you later, mate. Well, not a lot of room passing that lorry. Right, so I just need to get out now and tidy up the back a little bit because I've um, got a bit of tarmac stuck in there. So I will be back in a moment and uh, we shall reconvene. Right, I just got to dump a little bit of tarmac right there, but he needs to move his van out of the way so I can do so. Are you going to move that sign out of the way? Right, so we're finally tipping. I got a tiny little bit of time out going cold on my bed and I just want to get off as quickly as I can. Everyone's just fucking dawdling around. No, I thought I had a bit more than that. Right, just gotta go check it, be right back. Right. We're back.
Go put my seatbelt on, you know. Right. We are back. And we are on our way. I think. <laughs> if Satnav hasn't caught up yet, so uh, not entirely sure which way we're going. I'm going to hazard a guess that it's around here. Bendy roads. Right. We're nearly out of here. Very nearly. I'll try and get all this bitchelin off my uh, tyres before I get on the main roads. I don't think you would normally find lorries coming down here, that's for sure. Fucking low trees. Before I was going to hit that. Right, real quickly, when I come out of here, where do I need to go? I need to come out of here and go onto Churchill where you turn right, I believe. <coughs> See, sat now telling me to go left, but I want to go straight on. It could be a good thing to do. It could be a bad thing to do. But you shouldn't always rely on all sat now. Okay, I don't want to go down there actually. I want to take this exit. I think this is the way I want to go, Northern Avenue. Yeah, this way looks good. See, always rely on your instincts, not where the sat nav's taking you. I'm heading the completely different direction to where the sat nav was taking me. But it's actually quicker to go this way. Anyway, so uh, next job is to go back to base. Um, I need to get a break in at some point, and then I'm, I don't know whether I'll have a break on the way yet or not, I might do. Depends how I feel. Um, and then we got to go A343, I don't know what lane I need, middle lane to go for. Um, and then we've got to go to South Marston. So, I shall re reconvene with you slightly later. Ever so slight change in plan. When isn't there ever a change in plan? Uh, 
So I come back to the yard and um, I've had my break here. And then I get told I'm not actually going to South Marston, I'm going back to where I've just been. So that's fine, no problem. So I've got to get loaded with um, another load of tarmac. I don't actually know how much. I'm assuming I'm the last load, which means it could be not a four load going up. It could also mean that I've got to bring some back as well, which is a bit annoying, but... So I'm just getting loaded now. Just lining up. And, um... Yeah. I mean, it's a bit annoying with regards to timing, because now I'm not going to get there till three o'clock. Stay down there half an hour, half past three. Talking about five o'clock getting back home, so... 11 hour shift. It's alright. It's part of trucking, that is. You always do long hours. Alright, so we've got more than fucking 10 ton on. By the way, I don't have the dash cam on yet because I'm still on site. I don't really want to show too much. I don't want to get in trouble. 29. 30, 31, so we're fully loaded because we're going to weigh 32 ton, 31, 660, 31, 740, 760, 780, 800, I expect I'll be about 940, 960, something like that, it's a fucking dog. There's a dog coming in. We are done. <laughs> There's a dog just coming to his eye. With his owner, I might add. Right. <clears throat> so, just reversing up now to where I need to be so I can get out. Let's close my sheet. Right, so next time I see you guys, I will be just about to turn up to site. Right, we're just in Andover now. Or heading into Andover, should I say. There we go, Andover. Um, yeah, so as I was saying earlier, change of plan, we've, we've had to come back to Andover now, we're not going to South Marston. Um, we're actually going a different way in to the way we went last time as well. We're going to the same place, same site, it's just we're going in a different way, coming in from the other side. You want to overtake, don't you? You want to overtake? <laughs> The roads obviously were two and they go into one, and that guy there wanted to overtake. Right, just a mile down the road. Oh, look at our bridge, lads. It's got like people running across it. Made out of metal or wood or something. Different. Don't know what it was, it looks a bit like wood. Uh, right, so we are the. We're not the last load, which is good. Because being the last load normally means that you have to bring some back. So I shouldn't have to bring any back with me, which is fantastic. On the second to last load. There's 15 more ton coming after me. So, like I said, hopefully it should pretty much be a quick tip and then and go sort of thing. It's 10 to 3 at the moment, so I've made 10 minutes up on the time. So uh, that's good. Remember this roundabout, the roundabout we're coming up to now, when we left earlier, it was taking me back this way. I said, no, I want to go that way. It turns out you can get back this way as well, which is the way I'm coming in. So it doesn't matter which way I go, left or right. 
Anyway, we need to go right on this roundabout. Time it, time it, time it, and go! Where are you going? Good. Thought he was going to go all around there with me. Alright, so we want to go down here. And then we want to go left of the roundabout. Followed by an immediate left. Down here. Put the beacons on. And budge over for this car. Uh, and then this is called Pilgrim's Way. We've just got to follow this road all the way around now. And in a second we'll have to find somewhere to turn around. Don't want to be meeting another lorry coming around here. Thank you kindly. Right. Road closed ahead, but not for me. Ain't no road closed for me. Some cars just want to park proper close to the signs. Lay bushes. Yeah, not many lorries come down here because these trees are a bit low. Oh, we ain't tipped. Turn round, we do. It looks like they're not ready for me. It looks like that lorry there is going to be first. Low trees. It looks like I shall just park up. Right, well, I've got to put my flaps up anyway, so I'll go to put my flaps up and then find out whether that lorry behind me is actually tipped or not. Because the last thing we want to be is hanging around here and we don't need to be. So be back in a bit. Right, so we've uh, started tipping out this place. This is my second tip. If it's the same as last time, I had four in total. So, let's find, wait and see how many tips we got on this. Uh, when I just pulled up, I don't know if you can quite see, but in front of the um, that white digger in front, um, there's like a load of waste, a load of like soil stuff they got on the floor and they wanted me to take it back and they said are you going back to the quarry? I said well oh, yeah, it's opposite the quarry, it was, oh, do you want to take it back then? So I said well I'm going to have to call my boss first to find out 
So I called my boss up and he's basically like, time to fuck off. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to have to say when one of them asks me. So Lorna, who was, um, who was here when we got here, she tipped us before us. She's that truck in front. And that little six-wheeler turn around now, that's Martin. And I know Martin ain't gonna wanna take this stuff back either. This is gonna be fun. I wanna get a move on though, because if I leave now, it's gonna be about five o'clock before I get back. So I'd like to be back before then. Bam, 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 bam. I called my boss up as well but when I called him up earlier and asked him about taking that stuff back while I had him on the phone I asked him if he wanted me to do anything else while I'm here he said no back to the yard so that's what I do and um, I said oh just a reminder I'm off Thursday and Friday he goes what day is it he goes it's Tuesday Wednesday tomorrow yeah that's fine no problem <laughs> so I had to let him just let him know remind him Come on then, let's get me loaded, get me tipped rather, so I can fuck off and get the fuck out of here. What's Lorna doing? Yeah, I expect it to be four tips again. It's normally about four tips. Like I said earlier, this is pretty much what I do. Turn up to site, wait to be tipped, and even when I am being tipped, there's just a lot of waiting involved. It can get quite boring. I still enjoy my job, I fucking love my job. I love the driving side of it. And I like turning up on sites, like new sites, and seeing new places every day. It's just when you sat in the same place for ages, it annoys me. getting quite close to my arse. And then when I've done this tip, if I've got any left, I need to get onto the left-hand side. How much have I got on? about nine and a half ton. Jesus, they're pushing me. No notice there. Here. 
there's an ever so slight chance that it'll all come out on this little push. No, I don't think it will. Yeah, yeah, you said no. no. And that's putting it politely. <laughs> that's all right, I did ask. Have you got the ticket? Yes, I've got move out of the way. There's all that shit down there. Yeah, he said if you wanted it gone, you're gonna have to call Tarmac and arrange something. All right, mate. All right. Thank you very much. No See you later. Gonna wind uh, Martin up now and tell him he's got to take it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you all right? They want you to take a load of waste back. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. That's what I just told them, basically. I said no. I phoned my boss up and he said no, fuck off. And I said to that, I said, they, he said no, and that's putting it politely. Yeah. Right, see you in a bit. I wanted to finish it for him. Yeah, see you in a bit, mate. I don't know whether you quite caught it. I said um, they want you to take some waste back. <laughs> he said, well, they can fuck off. <laughs> I'm not happy with the state of the cab. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. Yeah, you can hear me, but you might not necessarily be able to fucking see me. Let's put you down a little bit. Yeah, so that's the day finished now. We'll be heading back home. ETA is uh, 12 minutes past five at the moment. But I do have a little bit of paperwork to do just before I get back with uh, the jobs that I've done on today. So that's Andover, that's Andover, and the Siren Sester. So quick aid to Andover times two and to Sirencester. Uh, Sirencester was only 6.20 ton, Andover was 1966 and 1962. 1966, 1962. So that's today's paperwork done. I'll hand that in along with yesterday's paperwork that I forgot to hand in. That's all done. Paperwork done, pen away, paperwork there ready to be handed in. That rubbish. Put that in my rubbish bag. Put the rubbish bag there, ready to bin when I get some fuel. Uh, what's my phone at? 65%. my phone on charge. And tidy this cable up. Right, so that's it, we're done. We're now heading off. Have I done this? Just gonna put my seatbelt on. There we go.
and there we go so all done now just tidying up the cab a little bit better put put my work phone on charge as well sunglasses right we're done heading off so ETA is now quarter past five so we are going to be in a bit of traffic at some point in fact sat was about to reset itself because it thinks we're going that way get out the road just got to navigate ourselves out of here got to be careful because uh, there's quite a few school kids around or there was anyway walking around past me and stuff just got to be careful also going to do my window up in case my GoPro decides to fall off again what are you doing? you could get past me Some people. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Are they right? It's hard. I don't want to word it weirdly. That little girl was waving at me and like being a father, I instinctively want to wave back. If I wasn't a father, I probably wouldn't wave back because it looks dodgy. But, you know, I'm not a paedophile, honest. Hang the paedophiles, cut their dicks off, fucking burn them alive or something. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't this busy earlier, was it? Thank you very much. I watch all these cars when I'm going past, make sure I don't hit them. Last thing you want to be doing is hitting a car, that's for sure. And we're out of here. Turn right at the end of the road, right again, left at the roundabout, and then we'll be back on A roads. Clear right, clear left. spinach coming out of that roundabout <coughs> right then we're going left at this roundabout right I will now say that we are officially off site so beacons off foot down and let's make our way back to home so 20 past 5 gonna be back in the yard by the time I fill up the fuel uh, park up, hand the paperwork in, it's going to be gone half past five. And I was at work half past six this morning, so 11 hours, so it's not too bad. Not too shabby. So that's good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like my Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Luke Cena HDV. Um, as, as I've already said, this fucking week alone we've gained 1600 subscribers 1600 subscribers and like it's just fucking fantastic and if 1600 subscribers go and like my facebook page that would be amazing i've just just reached a thousand likes on facebook so um yeah give me some more <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching 
Until next time, drive safe and uh, goodbye.